Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're receiving this error. That is, there is a problem with your game setup. Please reinstall your game. So if you're receiving this error with the game, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio files. Scroll down. Here you can see x86 and x64. You have to install both x86 and x64. So click on it and then run this exe file. Now when you run it, if you see repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see the, uh, the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Click on yes to allow and let the installation complete. Make sure both the files are installed. Once both are installed, then restart. You can be restart your must after this. After the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to install media feature pack. Now for this, now this is only for user who are using N version of Windows. So if you have Windows 10 N edition or Windows 11 N edition, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here, you can see media feature, feature pack list for Windows N edition. Now, if you have Windows 10 N edition, then go to open Windows settings and then go to apps and then go to apps and features. In Windows 10, you will see apps and features and then you have to go to optional feature then add a feature or if you don't find it you will see system option so go to system and then you will see optional features over here in windows 10 also you will find system and then go to optional features and over here you will see add a feature option or view feature option in windows 11 it's view feature windows 11 n edition and windows 10 n edition click on add a feature and over here type in media feature pack so when you type in media feature pack, you will see media feature pack over here. You can put a check on the box and then click on next and install media feature pack. I don't have it because I don't have Windows 11 N edition. I have Windows 10, Windows 11 home edition. So I don't see it. If you don't see it, you can follow the next step. Now, Windows 10 users can also open this link. And here you can see media feature pack for N version of Windows and here if you have version 1903 you can select this and then you can confirm and then you can download it so or then you can select over here and then click on confirm and then you can download it so you, you can check which which version you have so you can type in winver in windows search box and then you will see version in my case it's windows 11 version 24 h2 so you can see that and then accordingly, you can install the media feature pack as per your version. And this is for Windows 10 N edition user. Now, when you go to this website, for if you see Windows 11 N edition settings apps, uh, it's not apps anymore. It's settings. Then uh, once you open settings, then go to system and then you will see troubleshoot option. Uh, sorry, optional features option. And then you can click on view feature and then click on add a feature. If you find media feature pack, install it. If you don't find it, uh, here you can go through this detail over here. You will see all the details. You can go through this. Now, next step is to, or you can switch to normal Windows 10 or 11 edition, like Windows 10 Home or maybe Windows 11 Home. You can go to optional feature, which we have already explained. Turn Windows feature on or off. So you can type in turn windows feature on or off and then click on turn windows feature on or off and over here if you see media feature pack or media features you can put a check if this is unchecked put a check and then click on ok install it restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to go to this location that is c drive open uh, file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive now open windows folder now open system 32 folder and over here in system 32 folder, you find this D3D com compiler 43.dll. Search, look for this file. So it's D3, uh, D3D compiler, D3D compiler 43.dll. So this is the file. You can just create a backup, copy this file, paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created, 
now delete this d3 d compiler 43 dot dll delete it once you delete it it's gone 43 dll is gone now now we already have a backup though so if you face any problem you can always uh, paste paste it back now when you try to delete it if you receive error epic games is running or something like that or any application is running you can go to tax manager and you can close that application like epic games or any application and then you can try to move it try to delete that in this file now or you can simply restart your computer and then you can try to delete it and then check now visit the microsoft link now copy this link the link is provided in the your video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website and here you will see the download option to install the directx now click on this file click on yes to allow and then accept next uncheck bing bar i don't want it next and let the installation complete now once Uh, again click on next now once this is done finish it and then you can restart your computer once and after the system restart i will show you if you go to this location windows we already deleted that file right so let us refresh this page so here you can see d3 d compiler for underscore 43.dll is back so when you install this file it uh, it install this file along with directx file so once it is you see this once it is back now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this this is important so do not ignore this go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed if you see the update click on download and install and once installed restart your computer and after the system restart you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, then run ea app steam or epic games launcher as an administrator so if you have the game on steam then you can go to steam then click on exit and once steam is closed now type in steam in windows search box make a right click on steam and then click on run as administrator and then you can launch the game similarly if you have the game on epic uh, sorry ea games then exit ea app and then type in ea app and then run as administrator and then you can check do the same thing with epic games launcher now the next step is to verify or repair the game files if that does not work you can go to steam if you have the game on steam make a right click go to properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is done launch the game and then check if you have the game on ea app click on manage you will see the repair option once the repair is done launch the game and then check still not working install any free ea games like apex legend and run the game close it once you run the game for maybe few seconds or minute then you can close that free ea game and then you can run battlefield 6 now you can in my case i already have this apex legend you can you can if you have the game on steam uh, you can just type in apex legend and this is a free game you can install it run it for a couple of seconds or maybe a minute once you run the game now you can launch battlefield 6 this has worked for a uh, few players so it might work few so in similarly if you have the game on ea app you can just find apex apex legend over here and then you can install the game download it install it run it and then close the game and then relaunch battlefield 6 next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game if nothing is working uh, you can just uninstall the game and then reinstall the game maybe try to reinstall the game to different drive you can uninstall it try to install the game to c drive or different drive and then check now still not working the next step is to use option fix problems using windows windows update now for this open windows settings go to windows update and then go to advanced option over here once you go to advanced option you will see recovery option go to recovery option over here you can see at the top here you can see uh, fix problems using windows update this will reinstall your current version of windows your apps files and settings will be preserved so click on reinstall now this process will take some time and once the reinstall is log into the computer and then launch the game 
Now the last step is to use media creation tool. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down here. You can see media creation tool. Click on download now and then run this exe file. Now, once you run this exe file, uh, you will see this screen that is accept. Click on accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on next. Then select ISO file over here and then click on next. And then you can set it to uh, set the location as a desktop. Then click on save. Let the download complete. This process will take some time. And once the download is complete, you will see finish option. Click on finish and then let it close automatically. Do not close this manually. Just click on finish. It will go away. And then you can go to desktop, make a double click on Windows ISO file. And then you will see the setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. And then click on next. Again, accept over here. And then by default, Windows 11 would be selected. Sorry. Here you can see ready to install. By default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So make sure this is checked and then click on install. After the installation, log into the computer and then you can launch the game. And you should not receive that error anymore. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.